Hello there, John Knox Village family. This is uh, Steve with John Knox Village, and we're gonna do another behind the scenes video today. Um, we're just about to meet uh, with Gail Bernay, and she's gonna talk us through um, how they purchase the new buses for the village. So we're gonna go, go, we're gonna go meet her now, and uh, after we've done that, we're gonna meet with uh, Brian Apoka, and I think he's gonna talk us through um, and show us a little bit of the inside of the new buses and uh, answer some of our questions for us. Let's go do it. Hi girl, fancy seeing you by the new buses. Hi Steve, nice to see you. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. And this is uh, Gail Bernay of the John Knox Village Foundation. Yes. And uh, we're sorry it's a bit windy, but at least the weather's slightly warmer than it has been. Yes, I'm glad it's not a week ago. Right, and we, we are so excited to see the new buses. This is one of them here. Uh, and Gail's going to kind of talk us how this all came about for the village and the foundation. Yes. So how, how was the foundation involved in purchasing these new buses, Gail? The foundation was involved by raising money for the buses. We uh, started a campaign which we called On the Road Again and we raised money for what we thought was going to be two buses but we ended up with three. And originally this was going to be a fundraiser for last year's gala, yes, right? Yes, it was. Which it unfortunately was. had to be cancelled because of we know what. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so on, on, on the road again was, a, was a, another way that we thought of continuing that fundraiser and, and basically still raising money to, so we could get these buses right here. Yes, um, the original theme of the gala was Let's Fiesta and the proceeds were going to go toward the purchase of the buses. Uh, once we knew we couldn't fiesta, we decided to turn it into a campaign called On the Road Again to raise money for transportation. And why did you decide that this fundraiser would be a good fit for the foundation? The foundation typically looks for projects that are going to benefit the greatest number of people. Um, and since it was going to be a gala um, event, it was also something that would benefit the Greater Lee Summit community. And since many of our residents are out and about in normal time shopping and visiting um, attractions in the area, we felt like it would be a good project for us to take on. And do you think that COVID-19 hindered any of these plans or we basically switched lanes and tried something new? It, it basically worked out, right? I mean... It, it did. It actually worked out really well. Um, we raised a little bit less than we typically do with a gala, but we had no expenses involved. And so we actually ended up um, better off than we would have if we had raised money through that event, or, or maybe about the same. It did also allow us to go to foundations who would not necessarily support a special event, but would support um, a project like the buses. And how so, much did you actually raise in the end? We raised just close to $200,000, which was beyond my expectations. Yeah, yeah. But we had probably 150 residents who participated in the campaign, as well as uh, numerous uh, vendors. We couldn't have done it without all of them. And we had associates involved also? And associates, I yeah, should yeah. absolutely remember associates. We had a number of associates who participated through the payroll deduction plan. And all right. um, we all came together and, and made these happen. So why, why do you think members of the village community embraced this particular purchase right here? Why, why do you think they wanted new buses? Well, we needed new buses badly. Um, the old buses were had very high mileage, had a lot of wear and tear on them, and we'd been hearing uh, from people over the last couple of years that they'd really love to see them replaced. And that was why we chose this as the gala um, project. But then once COVID hit and we knew people couldn't get out, we wanted to make sure that once they can get out and about again, that they will do it in style. And these are these will take them there. Well, they're, they're beautiful. They're, they're nice and brand spanking new. And I had a hand in designing the graphics for these buses, which it's, this is the first time I've been this close to them. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool to see. And they, Nice job. It, yeah, it turned out really well, nice and colorful, nice and bright. And everybody will see these buses now, not only our residents and associates at the village, but every time they go off campus, they'll see our, our branding and our photos of our residents on there and our logo and the phone number and everything. So yeah. that's, they're That's beautiful. Great. Yeah. Good job, Steve. Thank you. 
So what's next for 2021, Gail? Well, we are hoping to have a gala in September. September 18th is the date we've chosen. We're going to go with the same theme uh, that we had planned for last year, which is a fiesta. All right, good. Uh, hopefully COVID and everything will cooperate, and we are looking for a project right now that we will uh, raise okay. funds for. All right. So and stay tuned for that. Yeah, once we know exactly what that's going to be, we'll let everybody know. And I'm Absolutely. sure Gail's got things in the works to get that yes. going. And uh, yeah, watch this space. So thank you, Gail. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for coming to talk to me today. And uh, we're going to take a closer look at these buses right now and uh, have a talk with Brian here. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Gail. All right, now I'm here with uh, Brian Apoka, Director of Public Safety for John Knox Village. Hi, Brian. How are you this morning? I'm good, Steve. How are you? Doing all right. So um, we just talked with Gail about the buses and the foundation and how the fundraising came about for, for these new buses. How, how are you involved in uh, purchasing these new buses here, Brian? Uh, part of the purchase, um, what we did was we went out and got some bids from various companies um, throughout the Midwest to be able to kind of see what kind of bus prices that we could get. We, we wanted to make sure that with these buses that we were able to upgrade some of the functions of the bus compared to the old buses. So okay. we, we were very uh, particular about a few of the things that we wanted to make sure that we were able to capture with the purchase of these buses to be able to benefit the riders. And in, in the end, you actually post, purchased these out of state from a company out of state and, and bought them here, basically, right? Yes, we ended up going with a vendor in Tennessee. Um, it was uh, just north of Nashville, a little ways. Okay. A small little town, I forget the name of it, but uh, <laughs> yes, just north of Nashville. All right. So these buses came on campus a little over two weeks ago, and then they've, uh, they've also been out to have the graphics put on by another company here in Kansas City. Um, we worked pretty closely with them to get this, to get this working, and it, 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 it turned out beautifully. They look, they look really, really strong graphically, and everybody knows that these buses are now John Ox Village, so, so that's great. So I wondered if you could show me around the bus, hit one of these buses here, Brian, and kind of uh, talk me through some of the features of this, of this new bus. Sure. Let me go around to the other side, and I'll open this so you can come in. All right, cool. We'll take this opportunity to go around while Brian's doing that. We can see the other side real quick. As you can see, we've got graphics on uh, on both sides and photos on both sides of the bus. And also, very bright graphics on the back. If you're driving behind this bus, you're not going to miss it. You are not going to miss that this is John Ox Village. So, all right. Franklin, Tennessee is the name of the town. Oh, gotcha. Franklin, Tennessee. All right. So let's go inside and have a quick look inside the bus. And it smells new in here. <laughs> so this bus, we purchased two buses that are identical okay. to this one here. There are 20 passenger buses. There's two seats in the back here that actually fold down. So if we don't have any wheelchairs, um, right. we, can get, we can get four more seated back here or we can get two wheelchairs back here. Yeah, there's quite a bit so, of space there, isn't there? Yeah, it <clears throat> kind of allows you to be able to reduce your seating capacity to get some wheelchairs in here. Okay, and I also see we have a, a ramp right here to get uh, people with uh, strollers and uh, wheelchairs onto the bus. Yeah, anybody, you know, with these buses, all buses of this size, that first step getting into that bus can be is a little bit higher than your normal step and okay. so sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to be able to ambulate up those stairs and we this wheelchair lift doesn't have to just be for wheelchairs if if you don't feel comfortable with the stairs we can always get you up the up in the bus with this it's got a safety strap once you get in there it's like a seat belt Okay. type of a harness that we put you in and then you've got some handles to hold on to while there's the driver is right there 
working side by side with you through the whole process. So if you need a little help getting on and off the bus, just let the driver know? Yep, just let them know and we will deploy the wheelchair lift and get you in and out of the bus. Um, residents do it all the time. Yeah. Um, you, know, you just got to get comfortable with, with that whole process and it works out great for everybody. All right, cool. So what are the other nice features of this bus, Brian? Um, the big thing is, is the suspension on it is is a much higher grade than the ones on the prior buses. Okay. These are on a Chevy chassis. With the Chevy chassis, with the large buses, the the suspension and the ride is much, much smoother. So that's the biggest thing. And then these handles here that are on the end of the seat. So when you're sitting in the seat, if you need some assistance kind of getting a little bit of a push to get up you can right. grab this to help you get up yeah that's handy we the prior bus we did not have that and residents had a tendency to grab here and over time that kind of wore the wore the seats out a little bit quicker than than we anticipated so with this handle here it's actually framed inside the upholstery all the way down to the to the frame of it so Okay. That should hold up a lot nicer. And I noticed that every seat has a seat belt as well. Yes, every seat does have a seat belt in here. And then the wheelchairs themselves, we've got uh, a four point a four point harnessing system that secures the wheelchairs. And then we have a lap shoulder belt to go across you as well. Okay, good deal. All right, so let's walk on. Let's walk on back to the front of the bus here and see what else we can see up front here. Obviously the driver's position right here. So anything anything new in? Nothing really new in, in the um, driver's side area other than the, the equipment is in a little bit different places. Prior to these, these switches and stuff that are here operate and function the door and the air conditioning. The old bus that was down here in this console and th they had a tendency to get bumped quite a bit and okay. would would cause us to have more to have some issues mechanically with them. So with them being up here that helps out quite a bit. Um, the mirrors are heated. We have the ability to utilize that um, outside of that there's not a whole lot of difference in this area all right they just look very very nice very nice and clean and new yes and uh, i'm sure the residents really enjoy being transported around the village on these brand new buses yeah when we were doing the clinic last week um, a large portion of the residents in independent living had the opportunity to get to experience riding on the buses and yeah. many of them <coughs> had very high compliments to say about how smooth the ride was compared to the buses that we were using prior to. How, how old were the old buses before we decided to replace those? They were almost a decade old. We were almost, we were getting there. We would have been a decade old in May. So, so they would, they were getting to the point where they needed to be replaced. Yeah, the, the suspension on those were getting pretty worn and the ride was getting to be a little bit rough these buses with the the better suspension on them and being new has has been a, a tremendous um, upgrade for us and for the residents that are utilizing the buses it's a much much smoother ride yeah and we have uh, we have two buses just like this and we have one smaller bus yes we got two like this and then one small one that we can do 15 passengers with Okay, and the uh, the graphics are on the two the two larger buses right now, and you'll see those around the village right now. The uh, the smaller bus is going out today, I believe, Brian. Right to be installed with the new graphics today, and maybe back by the end of the week. Yeah, we took it there today. They'll do the graphics tomorrow, okay. and so we'll have them back by we'll have it back Thursday. And we have a facility in Kansas City that's doing that for us, and they they're going to do that inside um, and then like Brian said that'll that'll set up overnight and they'll they'll bring the bus back to the village and you'll get to see the the smaller bus with its new graphics also so that's coming soon 
Anyway. Okay, well thanks for you, thanks for walking us through the bus today and uh, telling us all about its features and uh, as I said, the residents are very excited and as you said also, the residents are very excited to see these buses at the village and uh, hopefully they'll, they'll enjoy them for years to come. Yeah, we greatly appreciate the foundation and everybody who helped support this campaign to be able to get these buses purchased and we're very excited to be able to um, get back to our new, get back to a little bit of our old normal, um, which would be our kind of new normal to be able to get the residents out and about and to be able to enjoy the buses that we have now. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, again, big thanks to the foundation for, for helping us raise money for, for these new buses. And uh, thank you for everybody that contributed to that. That's been a, a great success for us, a great success for the village. And uh, yeah, the residents are just going to love using these buses. So thanks, Brian. All right. Thank you, Steve. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. You too. All right. I hope you guys found that interesting today. Um, it's definitely, as I said, all of us said this morning, um, it's great to see these buses now at the village. Um, one thing I wanted to add at the end, um, we're getting a lot of viewers of our videos and thank you for that. Um, we're also getting a lot of comments and I've actually seen a, a few residents around the village actually stop me and say how much they're enjoying these videos. Um, and that's great, that's fantastic. Um, wanted to remind you that please subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. Now if you're watching this on your television you're not going to see that, but for those of you that are watching on YouTube, if you subscribe to our channel, it really helps us out. And the way you do that, you click the red subscribe button and you click the notification bell. And every time we put a new video out, you're gonna be the first to see it. YouTube will actually let you know when we put those videos out, okay? So if you could do that, that'd be great. I hope you have a good day. This weather is definitely so much better than it has been. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, okay? Look after yourselves. Bye.